Hi there, and welcome to Rhythms of the Refuge. My name is Kelly Blackledge, and I'm a park ranger at Tamarack National Wildlife Refuge. Today, I'm gonna take you out to the refuge to take a closer look at turtles. <laughs> now, I thought maybe my favorite was frogs, but really turtles are pretty cool animals, and I love talking turtles. <laughs> so I just wanna share with you some really neat characteristics that turtles have. I know you probably enjoy turtles too, but let's take a look at some of the just close up characteristics that they have. Turtles are pretty fantastic animals. They have, um, sometimes you can see them out basking in the sun on a log, pretty relaxed. Other times you might see them uh, if in the water. Turtles uh, can be on land or in water. And sometimes we might even see them crossing the road. And we'll talk a little bit about what to do if you find one crossing the road. Well, turtles have been around a long time, not just hundreds of years, but millions of years. That's probably why they look so prehistoric. Turtles have been around, um, we found them in fossils that age back 15 million years. They've been around as long as the dinosaurs, I think. So this one is a snapping turtle. Pretty ferocious looking, some may say. I mean, turtles do have a pretty big bite um, and they can get to be pretty big animals. The snapping turtle is probably the strongest and we have the common snapping turtle in Minnesota. You can see the shell is um, kind of uh, kind of flat, not pointy. It doesn't have any pointy spots on it. Uh, but the snapping turtle also has a lot of body sticking out of its shell. It's not one of the turtles that can totally hide within its shell. There's just too much strong body there. The shell of the turtle is pretty unique. Um, it is part of the body. It can't just leave its shell, as <laughs> you might know. And it can be... Um, here it looks a little smaller. You can see how big the body is compared to that shell and that dinosaur looking tail. It can be kind of a rigid, rigid tail there. This one was crossing my driveway and it must be a kind of an older turtle. It was good size and look at all the moss that's grown on the back of the turtle shell. <laughs> As you know, turtles don't move very quickly. So they move slow enough that the moss has time to grow. Turtles um, on land will move really slow and on in the water they can move pretty quickly. They can, um, their feet are designed like paddles so they can move really quickly in the water. Turtles are reptiles so they're covered with scales. Even the shell is made up of a certain type of scale. But you can see on the legs of this turtle it looks like scales. And reptiles are, well, some might people call them cold-blooded animals, but they do rely on their surroundings for their temperature. Um, turtles are out and about in the water and on land in the summertime, but they do hibernate through the winter months. A snapping turtle will hibernate underneath the pond or in kind of the muck of the pond at the bottom of the um, pond there. This skin um, is pretty special skin. They can actually transfer oxygen from the water through their skin in order to survive that hibernation underwater um, all through the winter months. Look at how tiny his nose is <laughs> and tiny eyes too. So these turtles spend a lot of time under the water um, and looking for food to eat. Now, turtles don't have any teeth. You can see that sharp beak on this turtle, ready to snap things up, and a lot of muscles in its neck. The neck can stretch way out to be able to reach a scrumptious little minnow, or maybe a frog, or some of our bigger turtles with that big mouth have been known to even snatch a little duckling on the top of the water. <laughs> So turtles are pretty fascinating um, and that shell is kind of unique. So the top of the shell is called the carapace and this top shell is made up of scoots or um, 
even on the underneath, um, a fused bone. So it's kind of its backbone with ribs almost is the shell. So he can't, you know, just crawl out of his shell. It is part of his body. And those um, scoots on top are kind of scaly. Aquatic turtles will often shed those scoots sometimes. Um, terrestrial turtles don't usually do that. They also, um, on the bottom of the shell, and the bottom of the shell is called the plastron. Um, in a snapping turtle, it's much smaller. Other turtles, this plastron or the piece underneath can be um, quite a bit bigger. And if a turtle does get flipped over, they're pretty good at using their head and legs to flip them upside right. So they don't have too much trouble flipping back over. This one just got uh, flipped over. Turtles, like I said, are great swimmers. You can see those feet kind of stretch out. They have sharp claws, um, but they also have these web feet to get them through the water quite quickly. So they're very good swimmers. And this is where they'll find most of their food, being those um, minnows, small fish. Uh, they'll feed on, um, when they're smaller, some of the insects that you find under the water, um, and some frogs and uh, things like that too. So they do like eating other animals. Well, the snapping turtle is one, but we also see on our marshes some painted turtles. Now painted turtles um, like to bask in the sun. It's not usually something you see a snapping turtle do. The snapping turtles can rely uh, on the warmth of the water. They, they seem to prefer being a little bit cooler in the water, whereas painted turtles like to warm up. So they like to get out in the sunshine and don't mind hanging out with their buddies <laughs> to warm up. Maybe you've seen a painted turtle stick their leg straight out, or maybe their back legs are sticking straight out as they're laying on a log. And that's really to collect as much sunlight as they can and really warm up. Um, but most of that sun is collected on that dark shell of theirs. Um, so you can see they, these turtles have a pretty big shell compared to the rest of their body. You might see them crawling through the grass. Um, turtles can move onto land. Uh, so when we see them out and about, the good chance to really see why we call them the painted turtle. Um, underneath, they have a beautiful shell. This design is pretty particular to the painted turtles. There are some other turtles in other parts of the country that have a little bit different design underneath, but painted turtles have this really great yellow and orangish color to them. And see how this turtle has tucked all the way inside his shell? He's pretty well protected. Not much can get after this turtle. There he is with his head tucked way underneath into the shell. Now somebody asked me, how do you tell the difference between the girl turtles and the boy turtles? <laughs> you know, or can you even tell the difference? And it is pretty difficult to tell. In painted turtles case, um, the females turtles can grow to be a lot bigger. So if you found a turtle that was, you know, longer than let's say seven inches or eight inches, something like that, if it was bigger than that, then it was probably a female turtle. What I like to do is look at the length of their claws. I'll be careful, both snapping turtles and painted turtles can bite. Look at the beak on the painted turtle. It's also really sharp and they have a long neck that can stretch all the way around. So keep an eye on that head. They can um, stretch out pretty quickly and reach around and bite. So this one is probably a female turtle. You can see the claws are fairly short compared to the width of the leg of that turtle. Here's another picture. This one has really long nails. So these claws, um, as you look at the claws, you want to look to see this claw is almost as long as the leg is wide. So this one is probably a male turtle. They usually have really long nails compared to the females. So just watch for that length. Um, and that might be able to tell you the difference, but mostly you can't tell the difference between the female and the male turtles. <laughs> now, if turtles you find crossing the road, um, you might ask, why did the turtle cross the road? <laughs> well, 
Turtles do move about, sometimes just to change ponds from one area to another to find food. Um, but in June or early in the summer, turtles are crossing the road to find a place to lay eggs. So generally, these are the female turtles that come out of the marsh and they're moving around to find a nice sandy area to lay their eggs. This is a painted turtle that's crossing the road. Eventually, once they find soft enough soil, the female turtle will use its back legs to dig a hole so it can dig um, a hole deep enough to start laying its eggs. And turtle eggs, um, in a painted turtle's case, are kind of oval shaped. They're pretty small. And uh, painted turtles will maybe lay um, somewhere in the neighborhood of five to up 12 eggs, something like that will be um, their nest compared to the snapping turtle nest, which can lay up to 30 eggs. And those eggs are a lot more round. Uh, snapping turtle eggs have look like ping pong balls and the um, painted turtle eggs are more oval shaped you can see here it's compared to a quarter in terms of size of these eggs now something kind of interesting about turtle eggs um, or young turtles turtles eggs will lay they'll lay their eggs in the, the spring you know in the early summer and those eggs will probably stay under there for a year. So even though the turtles hatch maybe later in the season, um, those baby turtles will pro likely in September stay underneath the, the ground um, through the winter months. Baby turtles have an ability, kind of like some of our frogs in the winter time, they can freeze solid. So they can survive this amazing ability there to um, hibernate in a way that their body is almost frozen solid. So baby turtles like this, we usually don't see until the next season. So if you see a tiny turtle that looks like it just came out of its um, shell or so, it's probably spent the winter underneath the soil. Um, so it's not this year's turtle, but last year's um, egg laying. They're cute when they're tiny. <laughs> Well, turtles, uh, it's watch for turtles. When you're out on the refuge, um, there are all kinds of turtles and they don't mind sharing their space, not only with other turtles, but with other animals. So you might find turtles around great blue herrings, or you might find them around ducks like these teal. So here we have two teal and a turtle that have tiptoed onto this trunk of the tree. <laughs> Say that quickly. <laughs> Now, we do find that turtles cross the road, and it's nice to help them across, especially if it's a busy road. So painted turtles are pretty easy to pick up. Again, you'd want to reach for the back of the shell when you move the painted turtle across the road in the direction that it was going. But snapping turtles, they can be pretty tricky. You want to be really careful because snapping turtles do bite, and they are very strong, um, and their necks can stretch out longer than you may think. Now, don't pick up a turtle by its tail. That's not a very good idea. Turtles, um, if you pick it up by its tail, it could really hurt its spine. It can break its spine and break the, the spiny part of its, of its tail. So instead, you wanna reach way behind on the very back edge of the shell. And you'll probably have to push down a little to keep the turtle still, because once it feels you touching it, it's gonna pop its legs up and um, try to get away and um, even hop to the left or right to try to snap at you. Once you get a good grip on the back side of the shell, then you can move it forward um, across the, ro the road. Um, and as long as you just get it off the road, you don't have to take it all the way to the pond, but you can carry it um, you know, as far as it needs to go. And yeah, it's gonna stick its neck out and it's probably gonna snap at you because it's not happy about um, you as a potential predator moving it across the road. Well, here's a turtle that uh, we don't see very often. In fact, this turtle is usually found just in eastern Minnesota, um, but it's one to watch for. We've uh, found it in Ottertail County and Hubbard County at a rarely, but it 
um, occasionally can be found. And this turtle is um, a turtle that we're watching for because it is a turtle of special concern. Their populations are very low. So this is called a Blanding's turtle. You'll, it has a higher back shell than this painted turtle and it has that notable yellow throat. So if you see a turtle that has just a yellow throat to it and a little bit higher back shell, its shell kind of looks speckled with yellow, you'll want to report that to the Department of Natural Resources. Or if you just Google Blanding Turtles, you'll find a place um, to report that you're sighting. It's great if you get a picture of it though to confirm that is what you saw um, is the Blanding's turtle. So it's not something to be collected, but get a photograph of it and re um, document exactly where you saw that turtle and make a report. Um, who knows, they might be in Becker County um, and even reports in Hubbard County, Ottertail County, around the state. We're looking for um, Blanding's turtles reports. Well, I hope you take a close look at turtles. Again, they can bite, so be very careful. Um, but it is fun to explore a turtle for a few minutes when you see one crossing your yard. Um, the shell is um, nice and smooth. The legs are um, pretty unique. See if you can see how long those claws are on it. But don't keep the turtle. Turtles really need a special habitat to be able to survive. Um, they need a special food. They need a lot of space. Um, so I don't want to encourage you to keep turtles. Um, they don't make really good pets. They're, you know, with the aquatic habitat that it needs, it, it takes a lot of care to keep a turtle. But it's, it's okay to explore a turtle, take a picture, and then move on or let it move on to its own natural habitat. Well, I hope you enjoyed turtles. Um, turtles are a fascinating old history uh, kind of species. And again, in Minnesota, we have the snapping turtle and the painted turtle here. So watch out on the roads for turtles this summer and we'll see you at Tamarack Refuge.